Hello everyone! I thought I would do a get ready with me for a date, but I'm actually not going on a date tonight. I need to get ready though because I'm going out tonight with my friends, but I thought I would show you like what I do for a date. My makeup, my outfit, how I pick things out, what goes through my head, and also just like talk about dating because I am dating in the city. I don't even know what's going on. Give you guys some updates on my life. I'm moving soon too, so very exciting things going on but before we get into this video i just want to thank anna luisa for sponsoring this video they are one of my favorite sponsors if you guys don't know they have a bunch of beautiful jewelry pieces and i'm going to show you guys what i got but everything is ethically made um they are carbon neutral from their products to the packaging i got these medium size thick gold hoops they are perfect i've actually had these before and i lost them but they were my favorite hoop and oh i just tried it okay i might okay my hearing's already in but i thought these were my perfect like everyday hoop and i just wear them all the time so i need to get them again i know they use a lot of recycled raw materials in their products and they donate a lot of the products too that are not like made perfectly so i just love the brand and you guys know that because i wear them all the time so then i also got these rings a stack of three rings i'm going to throw these on i love stacking rings cute i just put them all on and then i got also a bracelet just a little dainty bracelet i just love stacking as you guys can tell so i'm going to put this on with the rest of my bracelets this is always so hard to do alone okay i need christina ah uh, thank god i have a roommate how cute oh my gosh i love it all of their pieces are just like really unique and pretty and they're high quality but also affordable thank you again to them for sponsoring this video let's get into it i'm just gonna do my normal makeup routine and just like talk through this and talk about what has been going on in my dating life i guess because i feel like a lot of people are interested um if you don't know i was in a very long relationship and i can't believe it's already been five months since me and my boyfriend broke up but i'm gonna use the skin tint so if i look over here too this is where my mirror is i'm just trying to use up the skin tint because i have so many skin products right now that i really like and i'm so bad at using old things up like i'll try something new and then open that up and then use that so i'm just trying to use solely this right now to use it up oh my gosh also i forgot to mention analisa has these super cute pouches and this is what everything comes in and these are amazing for travel just a little fyi so i am on the apps I'm on the apps i just am not really good at meeting people out and about like i tend to go out with my friends and whenever i'm out with my friends i just don't really think about like meeting people whenever i'm having fun with my friends like i typically just want to have fun with my friends and not really think about meeting people the beginning of the summer is whenever i first started dating and one of my first dates that i went on was <laughs> the worst date ever like i genuinely looked back on it and i was like what was i doing i would have handled the situation so differently now but i think i was just so nervous and i didn't really know what to expect because i've never really have dated as an adult and I went out with this guy, 30-ish, 31 maybe. Met him on, I think, Bumble. And he seemed cool. Like, we had really good banter back and forth. And the, our texts were really cool. So I met up with him. And first of all, if I can have like a good conversation with someone, just like joking. I, I like to like joke around, have fun, like not take things seriously. Like, I just can't with... I just prefer not to be with someone that's like super super serious in some regards yeah but people that take life too seriously they're just not the one for me and then we met in person we went to one bar had fun and then the second bar is where it just went all downhill i don't even know how it came about but he asked if my mom was hot <laughs> after he asked it he was like oh sorry that was weird and i was like yeah <laughs> because like what do you even say about that as the night went on i could just tell we weren't aligned on like certain things in life and i was like okay this is i don't know how to leave the situation it's not really easy to read me i guess in that situation because i'm like laughing 
since I feel so awkward <laughs> and then I think they think I'm like having a great time and in reality I'm just like how do I leave we were debating about something and he was like well if you're right you I have to kiss you and if I'm right you have to kiss me or something like that and I was like I don't want to do either of those right now but me being awkward I was just like <laughs> like I don't know what to say right now. I am being right. <laughs> I didn't say anything about the situation because I was like, I don't want this man to kiss me right now. And then he was like, Oh, what was the um, deal again? And I was like, I don't know. You made up the deal, not me. And he was like, Oh, I think I need to kiss you. And I was like, This is so weird. Like I don't want you to kiss me. And then he did. And I was like, Okay, this is not great. Eventually, I ended up leaving. And then he kissed me again while I was leaving and I was like, okay, I, I never want to see this man again in my life. I went on a few other dates in the beginning of summer and then I ended up actually kind of like dating this guy a lot throughout the summer. Um, we had fun, but then, I don't know, he got weird. He got weird. I'm going to just keep it at that because it was just out of nowhere and it was just very on his terms and i said something to him about it and then he started pushing like all, all this stuff on me and then we just never talked again <laughs> in the beginning just like too much for me it was just super unrealistic and really fast and i kept saying like slow down you know want to take things a little slower we had a conversation and then after that conversation, I never reached back out and then he never reached back out. So we just stopped talking to each other. <laughs> so yeah, I'm thankful for all my experiences because in the beginning I was super nervous and I would literally have such like, just my stomach would feel anxious the whole time like prior to the date. And then I would get there and I would like have fun, but I don't know why I got really anxious always before my first dates. And now that like I've been on a few, I don't really get that feeling to some extent. Yes, I do get a little like nervous and stuff, but I just don't really feel that way anymore because now I'm like, oh, it's fine. Go out and meet people and there's really no pressure. Especially, I do prefer just meeting someone and not really like talking to them before because there's less pressure, but then it can go either way. Like there's less pressure in that sense. Like you're just going to meet up. Um, but then if you do text someone before and get to know them and like have a good conversation with them and they're the same in person then it's really great but if they're not the same in person it's like whoa what is going on you know so I think dating in the summer made me feel excited about dating versus anxious I won't probably ever show a significant other again in my videos for a really long time just because it's just hard and you know, me and my ex dated for so long and we were so young whenever we got together. So obviously he, and he was a huge part of my life. So he was in a lot of my videos, but also we did long distance. So sometimes people I feel like didn't even know I had a boyfriend at times. Don't want to jump into showing someone again on my socials unless it's like very serious. Also told you guys I went, <laughs> oh my gosh, I just, it's just so funny. I went on a date with a guy in my building and yeah so that has been fun <laughs> oh my gosh i'm just so awkward because i just like don't ever want anyone that i date to like watch my videos and a lot of people i don't really tell them what i do at first i i would usually just say i'm a freelancer just to make things easier and because i don't want them to go on my socials and like look me up yeah i'm dating a guy in my building and i usually would never do that but i'm moving out soon so that's why i did it i was like what do i have to lose you know <laughs> actually met him on hinge which is so funny but i could tell he lived in my building he literally lives a floor above me which is crazy i there are so many floors in my building we actually have two towers and he just happens to live one above me same tower it's hilarious we will see what happens with that too no pressure but i'm just going with it and it's just gonna be so funny if i move out and then <laughs> i still come here and my doormen are gonna be like what is going on prefer to date older guys um just because it, not every time but it seems to be that they are 
more mature than guys my age. I've dated a couple guys that are like 24, 25, and they're very sweet, but at least the people I've been on dates with, but I can relate more to guys that are like 27 and up, and we just, they're just more mature, so. I realized that's what I prefer. This is just a really small example, but <laughs> I was on a date with this guy and he was getting up to use the restroom and he's like, all right, gotta go take a piss now. <laughs> what? Just hang out with the bros, you know? <laughs> all the updates on my dating life and I'm moving soon, which is really exciting. Me and Tori are looking at apartments today. Also, my hair is wet. I don't know if you guys can tell. That's why it's a little frizzy. I'm gonna fix it whenever I'm done with my makeup. Market has been crazy and a lot of people are like, why don't you just have Tori like move in your place now? The whole reason I really wanna move is because I want a living space. I basically just live in my room right now and I want like a living room, a couch, a TV, have a space where I can host and I don't have that here. We have a really, really small living room and I just, I just wanna be able to have people over and them not just hang out in my room so I'm willing to have, I'm willing to sacrifice having a smaller room for a living space. One of the big reasons I want to move, I also do want to be more downtown, but I have realized that I'm probably not going to be like super downtown, which is fine with me. I just want to also explore a new area. You know, this is like the time to do it. Uh, you're young, you can explore different parts of New York and see what you really like. The area that I'm currently in is just very corporate and I kind of do want something a little younger. Christina's also moving to Brooklyn. She got her place. It's stunning, beautiful. So I'm excited to visit her in her new place. I'm gonna go with her to pick up the keys so you guys will see it in the vlog soon, but I am excited for her. She got a November like 15th lease, so she is moving out a little bit earlier and I need to be out of here by the 30th. I was talking to Tori because I just never thought I was ever gonna live with one of my best friends. You guys know Michael, Jenny, Emma, and Tori. Well, if you guys don't know, they're all of my best friends. We all met in college. Our freshman year, we all lived on the second floor in the dorms, except for Michael. They all ended up moving together for like three years on the Upper West Side. And I actually like lived right down the street from them on the Upper West Side. It was just the most fun. We would go to school together. They always lived together because I had like a different roommate my first year out of the dorm. Actually for four years because on the Upper West Side they lived together for three years and then they moved downtown together for another year. But it's just so funny because I never thought I would ever live with one of them because I and Michael live together now. Jenny moved in with her boyfriend and Tori's currently living in her ex-boyfriend's apartment. That's like a whole nother situation, but it was never supposed to be long term. Our move-in dates just happened to align, so I was like, well, if you want to live with me, like, the options are open. Because I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I was like, should I leave New York? Should I go move abroad for a little bit? Like, I was thinking of so many different possibilities. I was like, should I live alone? And I think like right now in my life, it makes sense to stay in New York and because I love it here and if I want to travel solo, I can. Tori texted me the other day and she's like, oh my gosh, we're both single living together. And I was like, oh my gosh, who would have thought? And she was like, no boyfriends the first year. <laughs> she's so funny. I need to do this off camera. It's going to be a mess, my eyeliner. Okay, I just did my mascara and my eyeliner off camera because I just, I can never do it on camera. So this lip tint, you need it. <laughs> Like, this is the Benetint by Benefit. I'm eating, talking, drinking. This will stay on for so long. Smudge it in. And then I still do lip liner too, just to overline my lips a little bit with it on. But that is more for like the color, the tint. And then a lip oil, and I'm going to set my makeup too. I love this Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, it's so good. I spray it once on this. Makeup is done. I actually have to run to an apartment viewing really quick, so I'm gonna do that and then come back and I'll show you guys what I would do for my hair and makeup. I mean, my hair and outfit. Okay, BRB. I'm gonna be honest, this is a few days later. By the time I got back from viewing that apartment, it was dark outside and the sun is like setting now at 5 p.m. So I needed to wait for daylight to film this. Anyways, I'm gonna pick up my outfit now. Oh, I also did my hair. So. I have been loving these two hair products. 
I, what is this called? In Common Magic Mist. I love this stuff. It says it protects, strengthens, and hydrates. It refreshes your hair whenever, I don't know, if it's looking dull, like it just makes it shiny and it smells really, really good. One time I had this on and I was like, your hair smells so good. And I was like, thank you. Anyways, <laughs> then I've been loving this um, Beach Wave spray. So I have these linked down below, but basically I've been letting my hair dry naturally and it looks really good you know the first day whenever i wash it but then the next day it's like a little frizzy and stuff so i will spray this in wet it a little bit and then it will bring it up back to life and make my hair look not super like poofy yeah i actually have a date tonight which this worked out so perfectly so <laughs> let's get dressed for that basically i have a first date top <laughs> this is my first date top i'm about to wear it tonight though because i this isn't our first date, but I just needed to get, I realized that I did not have a lot of dating tops, at least like for what I wanted. I wanted something, I feel like in the summer it's a little easier, but for this time of year I have like sweaters and stuff and then I have going out tops and I didn't have anything that was cute, but also, you know, had a little something to it. It wasn't like, you know, because I like to dress for a date cute, but also, you know, hot too. It was hard for me to find things that were both. <laughs> so, and I'm getting this top. Ooh, it's from Reformation and it's black. I just love wearing all black, very safe for a first date. Um, and that's typically what I wear whenever I'm going out. It's just what I feel the most comfort comfortable in, the most confident in. So I love this top and it is a little low cut. So it's a little, you know, something, something. It fits me super well. I'm very happy with it. This is what I typically like to wear on a first date. I do jeans, I typically like to do like a black jean. This is, I'm talking about like drink dates and like dinner dates and stuff. I have these dress pants that I like to wear sometimes too on dates, but I'm not gonna wear them tonight. Um, I really like these. And then I would just do like a black top. So it's a little bit more dressy. I would do like boots, I'm probably gonna do these boots that I have tonight that are like hidden heels. Um, these are them right here that I'll probably end up wearing tonight. These are my go-to. I can walk in them. Uh, they're comfortable. A little bit of a heel. Love the pointed toe. Um, I wear these a lot too. On dates, I can walk in these for a long time. So if, you know, we're walking around <laughs> and I don't have to worry about that. I just like want to be comfortable but also cute. So yeah, okay. I have leather pants. So I'm going to try this on and then I'll be right back. I don't like this top. I tried on here. Okay, actually, you can see now the boots, the pants, and I hate this top with the pants. I don't know why. I feel like these pants kind of cut at a weird place. So maybe that's why. Okay, let's do another top. I am really struggling. Like this is why I have to get ready so early, but I think I'm gonna wear this top. I think I need to change the pants though. So that's gonna be an issue for later, but since I decided on this top, I'm gonna to show you. I always, with tops like this, like to highlight my whole body. <laughs> my, at least what is shown, like my shoulders, like my chest a little bit, highlight. I like to use this Say liquid highlighter. I have it down below. It's the best thing ever. I just ran out and I ordered it on the Sephora set. Do I have any? I think I like it. No, but I just reordered it from Sephora because they just had the sale. So for now, I'm just going to like really highlight my shoulders with this powder. I'm so sad I don't have it. It just makes your skin look so good and glowy, but you know, just gotta work with what you got. All right, now let's figure out this pant situation. I have these black leather pants. They're not my favorite. They're more of a chill leather pants. Sorry, the train. Um, but they're like really not that long. They also just don't look as nice as the other leather pants, but I don't hate it. Let's try another pair. I have on these black bootcut jeans that I like better. I think this is better than the leather pants, but I also have the Marpelli cowgirl pants or cowboy whatever pants I'm going to try on. I like these. These are really high-waisted though. How many black pairs of pants am I gonna try on? 
I like this, but it just seems a little... Okay, I don't know what's going on, it's fine. I like this, but it just seems a little like dressy because it's a dress pant. So I think I'm gonna go with the black jeans. Maybe I just need to wear a belt with it and then that will be good. Monday night, like I don't need to be dressing up too much. Like the jeans make it casual. Okay, let's go. I think I figured it out. I was going to wear this belt, but it <laughs> it's like from that for my waist, my high waist, not my hips. Like it doesn't go all the way around. So you know what? I have no other black gold belts. I'm not wearing a belt, whatever. <laughs> this is the final look. Okay, so then I just wear my everyday bag. It adds a little color to the outfit. The sun is setting, so I just need to finish this up. But I think we have the final look. It's cute, I'm happy, you know? I wish I could be, I wish I had a belt. It's fine, I just have to, I need to buy a belt apparently. I'm going to put on some of that, not right now because the date's later tonight, but I just wanted to show you guys me getting ready. I'm going to put on this vanilla musk fragrance oil from Whole Foods though before I leave. This smells so good, like it is just, uh, it smells so yummy. A warm vanilla scent. So I always put this on before first dates and I like that it's oil. So like I just lather my whole body in it and then I put it like my chest, shoulders, wrists, neck, and it lasts so long since it's in oil. I hope you enjoyed this little get ready with me. Oh, my dad is calling me. I will call him back in a second. And thank you so much again to Annalisa for sponsoring this video. Yeah, okay. I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.